Hey everybody, it's me Kim. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so you know the new rave on YouTube is everybody's using the aloe vera for their hair. Well, I don't like to just jump on a bandwagon. I like to do my own research and I like to find out what's good because what's good for your hair might not be good for my hair. What makes your hair grow might not make my hair grow. So I decided to do my own little research, my own little test. So today, I'm going to take off my wig, I'm going to take down my braids, and I'm going to start using aloe vera, and I went and picked me up an aloe vera plant. Now, you can get it, you can get it, well, I got mine at my local um, Save-A-Lot, and um, only a dollar and 39 cents, so they break you off, but, well, the leaves already broke off, and they're wrapped up in that little piece of paper that I took off. And it comes just like this, you know, it broke off, so it must have been a really big plant, which is good. And um, what you do is you just cut it open, and inside there's some slimy stuff. And, um, well, before I get into that, let's read what they say it's good for. So, it says here, the aloe vera for hair fall. And I guess they mean growth for the fall. And it says aloe vera contains something called proteolic enzymes. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. You know, sometimes these medical words can get really difficult in pronunciation. Which repairs dead skin cells on the scalp. It also acts as a great conditioner and leaves your hair all smooth and shiny. It promotes hair growth, prevents itching on the scalp, reduces dandruff, and conditions your hair. And the benefits that they say is... Well, we already know what the benefits is. No itchy scalp, hair growth, um, stuff like that. Now, they say if you have low porosity hair that you should not use aloe vera because it will dry your hair out. And um, so, I don't know the porosity of my hair. Um, I've always wanted to know the porosity of my hair, and I think I'm going to research that too before I really put this on. But I wanted to come to y'all and show y'all, do not jump on the bandwagon every time you look at a YouTube channel and somebody look like they got hair all down to here because eh, I ain't going to tell you where to hurt. But, back to the subject. Um, everything might not work for you that works for somebody else, you know. You got to know the porosity of your hair um, and your um, hair type, you know. Um, your hair might hold a lot of moisture and therefore might be over moisturized and you might need protein or you might be lacking protein and need moisture. So, and the person that you're looking at, they might have a pH balance of everything right and, you know, what they use might not work for you. So I, like I said, I'm doing my own research and the highlights of aloe vera is aloe vera is a rich, is rich in vitamin C and E. Now vitamin E is good for your hair. It keeps your skin young and ha happy, and I also heard that you can use it on your skin too. Various studies prove that aloe vera is quite effective for weight loss. Honey, I better drink some. <laughs> I need to give me a glass of aloe vera, okay? So we're going back to the grocery store. Aloe vera keeps your skin hydrated and moisturized. And uh, so I just pulled this up on my computer, and um, I'm getting my information from... Um, MDTV food. That's what I looked on for. MDTV food. Um, and it goes on to say about a lot of other stuff that uh, information about aloe vera. Now, um, it says it has nutrients rich in cells, nourish them, it nourishes your cells. Um, let's see something else. The leaves hold a gooey, translucent gel. Also extremely bitter and known all over the world for its unbelievable healing properties. This translucent gel is made up of about 96% water, some organic and inorganic components, I mean compounds, a type of protein which contains 18 of the 20 amino acids found in the body, and lastly, vitamin A, B, C, and E. Another part of the aloe vera plant which is used is a sap, a yellow color liquid stuck to the skin of the plant from the inside. When dried and purified, this powered, powered, powered aloe is often used as a laxative, though its effectiveness, 
effectiveness is questionable. So you see, aloe vera is really good for a whole lot of stuff. Um, so like I said, I'm getting my information from MDTV Food. Um, if you want to go do your own research on aloe vera, you should before you start using something that everybody else is using. And um, see if it's good for you. And um, they do have things down here, aloe vera for dry skin, aloe vera scrub, aloe vera for acne, aloe vera for sensitive skin. Like this website, um, MVTV Foods, is like really good when it comes to um, organic stuff that we're using on our skin and our body and in our hair. Um, another thing... Um, Oh, and how about I just left up on some other information. Weight loss is good for weight loss, so they say. Um, ba -ba -da -da, where we at? Where we at? Here's why you should drink fennel seed water for weight loss. Now, I got to do some more research, okay? Because there's a plant called fennel seed, so oomph, parenthesis, water for weight loss. So, we're going to check that out. But right now, we're going to do with the aloe. So, like I said, um, we're going to take our wig off, take our braids off today. Um, we're going to incorporate this in our scalp. We're going to cut it open. We're going to rub it on our hair. Um, I'm learning now to, like, you know how sometimes you use so many different products in your hair? Well, how do you know which one is going to make it grow? So I'm learning to step back because, you know, um, growing hair, weight loss, all that, all those things can be a trial and error. And um, it might work for you. Like I said, it might not work for me. So it might be a trial and error until you can figure out which one that works. So what we're going to do, like I said, is going to take down our wig, um, take down our braids, wash our hair. Now, I did hear you could pre-poo with this. So, I might and I might not, I'm not going to say, but um, we're going to try this out today. And then we're going to back it up with some um, black Jamaican castor oil. So, those are going to be the only two things I use in my hair besides regular conditioner and shampoo. Um, we're going to lay off all the other things that we've been using for a while just to see what this, the benefits of this, you know, the benefits of this is uh, one thing at a time right now. Um, so that's all I wanted to come and tell you guys and um, as you see they did say aloe vera was good for the hair but you have to know your porosity and because um, your hair might not need all of the moisture that aloe vera gives so um, just do your own research again thank you for coming back to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to love one another because we all need love right now okay bye